Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Day 5 Advent Calendar, Advent Cyber 2022, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm calling it. Today, we are hopping into, um, basically, we're starting to get a little bit more advanced. I like it. I like what we're getting into. Before we hop into it, thank you guys so much for the 2K subs. We are now caught up on the calendar, so I am going to start pump or trying to do them daily. Like I said, I was trying to do that before. Um, I just... Sometimes I get too busy. So thank you guys so much. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. It helps out so much more than you guys know. And let's go ahead and hop into it. So day five. So yesterday we did, or yesterday you guys did. I did them all today. But the scanning. So we actually did some scanning. Now, here's one thing um, I noticed. The day three and day four went together. They followed each other. This one um, doesn't follow. So don't just go straight into thinking you know from yesterday's video. Um so when I say it doesn't follow, it's not using the same server. Um, so Elf McSkitty asked Elf Recon McRed to search for any backdoors that the Bandit Yeti may have installed. If any such backdoors is found, we would learn what the bad guys might be using it to access on the network. Okay, cool. So you can easily control your computer systems using the attack attached keyboard and mouse when you're at a computer. How can we manage a computer system that's physically? So how do you remote control a computer from a different place? Well, you have SSH, you have RDP, and you have VNC. So SSH stands for Secure Shell. We've seen that a million times on this channel on all Linux hosts. You can SSH into them and you can control the um, the terminal. Now RDP stands for remote, remote Desktop. It's this is common in Windows where I can remote desktop into a machine and I get their machine right there. It's a virtual desktop. I can do everything just like normal, right? So it's like I'm remoting into that desktop. Now, VNC, VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. It provides access to a graphical interface, which allows the user to view the desktop and op optionally control the mouse and keyboard. So it's just like RDP is what it's similar to, right? Okay. So now that's that's important that we cover that because VNC is what we're going to be taking advantage of. So authentication, there's three types. As we know, there's something you know, something you have, and something you are. So something you know, that's pretty easy. That's your password, PIN, whatever. Something you have, that might be you might have a token. You might have um, anything like that. You might have a USB flash drive with a token on it, um, whatever. Something you are, that is your rec retina scan, your palm scan, your fingerprint, all that stuff is, is something you are. Um, your gate, all that stuff. Now, attacking passwords. So here's different ways of attacking passwords, and that is shoulder surfing, password guessing, dictionary attack, and brute force. So shoulder surfing, pretty self-explanatory. I'm looking over your shoulder. I see you. Type it in. I know what you, your password is. Password guessing. I know a lot about you. I know you like the you know Minnesota Vikings, whatever. I guess your password is Vikings, one, two, three, right? Stuff like that. Dictionary tech, this is where you use a list such as the rockyou.txt file, which is what we're going to use today, um, and you go ahead and do it that way. Now, brute force attack, this is where you're actually going through, well, you're not doing it, but the computer's automating, doing 0001, 0011, 0000, or 00111, like just every single combination possible. Now, the brute force is possible, but it will take an extremely long time, so don't get too carried away on that um, because you might have your computer sitting there for the rest of your life. Um, okay, so hacking authentication service. So here, this is nice. They You could do this yourself, but they already did it for us. They did the in-map scan for us on this server, and we got this. We got SSH, and we have VNC. Those are the only two that we've got. So now they're giving us some... Um, Hydra is what we're, the tool we're going to use. There's all kinds of tools out there. There's Hydra, the John the Ripper, uh, you know, all kinds of tools out there for password attacks. This one here will allow you, Hydra is my favorite. Um, it will allow you to actually use whatever words. So we're going to use the rockyou.txt file. If you're not familiar with that, it's a list of, I don't know how many is in it, but million or hundreds of thousands, at least passwords in there that are common passwords that were found years ago in a, um, rock you file and these are what people are using um, these are simpler passwords keep that in mind these aren't complex and it guesses every single one of them and it's going to guess them all this command here you can see they're going to use hydra and then you have the l for login and mark is the login then you have uppercase p so mark would be the username uppercase p and they're saying the password file is rock so go through every single password in there and try it with Mark, and then here's the IP, and they're using SSH. Perfect, good to know. So what we they're showing us that, and then they're showing us VNC. So VNC is also a little bit different. 
you can see here they're showing us if they hydra blah 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 and they show us it will eventually find it okay that's perfect and this is what it looks like they're logging in alexander password one two three four five six alexander one two three four five and you notice the login never changes because they have that set uh statically and then they have all these passwords it's trying them all right so hydra is a really really good tool now here now we're going to need to get their vnc password okay we don't they're asking for the VNC password, not the SSH password. Keep that in mind. So use Hydra to find the VNC password. Now, here's something in here's the, the key, right? With VNC, you don't have a login name, you just have a password. So it's a little bit harder to figure out. And you can see I had to try about four times to get the syntax right for Hydra. So I did I tried Hydra, then just password file, and it didn't work mainly because it's still adding this automatically it's adding the login automatically right so this is how i would normally do a command but i would have a login for ssh or something like that um, and that's how they showed it there but the problem is it doesn't have a login so then i just did the hydra to see if it gave me the quick answer here in the help menu um, and it didn't so here's the one that we got to actually work so hydra tac s which is specifying what port and i said 5900 because if you go back up here and you look at the in-map scan, 5900 is the port that VNC is running on on our server. Okay, so then 5900, and then you can see I did a capital P for password file, and you can see that's right there, capital P for the file, and that is going to, where did I go? there it is, user share wordless rocku.txt. Now this is the attack box, so you can do this, follow it completely. And then I did the IP, and then the service VNC. Now I'm not going to run it because it did take a little bit. It, it didn't take super long, probably uh, you know two three minutes. But I did get the password. It's one Q two W three E four R. So that's one Q two W. It's just just like that. So it's asking us for the password. Here it is one Q two blah, blah blah. Now using a VNC client. So if we go to applications, this is the attack box Remina. We go ahead and say cancel that. Change this. That's VNC. That's what we want. And we're going to go to 10.10.227, I believe. 227. I know I saw it. There it is. Yep, 86. 86. And you don't have to put 5900 because VNC uses that port by default. That is the standard. So we hit enter. And it's asking us for the password. So we go ahead and 1Q2W3E4R. Hit enter. And check this out. Boom, we have control of this person's machine now. So here we are. And then there's the password. THM, I see your screens. I can turn his machine off. I can do all kinds of stuff. I can do whatever I want, right? So that is a very cool way of brute forcing VNC. It's very similar to SSH um, as far as the brute forcing. And you can see you can use John the Ripper. Oh, they're telling you, sorry. They're telling you brooms that are... Um, similar to this and the protocols and servers to Hydra password attacks to John the Ripper I think I've done most of those on this channel. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you guys like the content We're gonna keep going with the advent of cyber. We're caught all up now so I can keep doing them daily. Hopefully um, I don't get too busy and have to take a couple days to skip again And hopefully you guys are liking it. Make sure you hit that sub Make sure you hit that like and hope you guys have a great day and holiday. Thanks